In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the front ABS sensor on this Toyota Camry. If you need this or any other part for your car, check us out at oneauto.com. Let's get started. If your vehicle has a locking lug nut, it should have one of these locking keys that goes on it. Find the correct slot, and I'm going to break this free by hand before I raise the vehicle up and use an air impact or electric on any of the other lug nuts. It is not recommended that you put an impact on that. So with a 21 millimeter socket and a breaker bar, break this free. At this point, it is safe to put an impact on it because it's already broken free, and you basically just want to avoid the high force that the impact will put on this because it can break the, the little teeth internally. Now continue with your impact or tool of choice, 21 millimeter socket, remove all the rest of your lug nuts. Remove your wheel. If it's stuck, give it a little tap, it should pop right off. From the back side of the knuckle, you'll see a 10 millimeter bolt holding on the ABS sensor. Put your socket on it. Make sure it's seated down. A lot of times these do rust, so you want to make sure you don't break it or strip it in there. And then remove the bolt. Now this being a closed hole, there shouldn't be any rust in the thread. So once you break it free, it should come off fairly easily. As you can see, the bolt is fairly clean. With that done, it looks like this has a new knuckle. So someone has been in here before and removed this ABS sensor, but usually they are a little bit stuck. So what you can do is grab some pliers, grip it onto the sides, twist it around, and you should be able to pull it out and break it free. Um, this one just came out easily, but uh, sometimes you do have to fight them a little bit. Follow the wire and you'll see it's clipped onto the strut. Use a trim tool or anything you have that'll pry this off. There we go. Get that off of there. And then if you follow it even further, you'll see that it's bolted on with a 12 millimeter bolt right onto the strut. So remove that. This also has the brake hose going through it. So you will have to unbolt pretty much both of them. Pop this out, follow it along even further, and you'll see a 10 millimeter bolt holding it onto this larger bracket. Remove this as well. Save the bolt, pop the bracket off. Now we have to partially pull this fender liner out. So there's a 10 millimeter bolt here and another one down here. You'll have to remove both of these so that you can actually pry out on this. There's one and another one. Pull this off. Now you can peel this back. And the first thing I want to take off is going to be this gray retainer here. Just use your trim tool and pop it off. If this breaks, that's okay. I'm removing it because the new ABS wire comes with a new one. You can uh, unplug the connector from up here. There it is. And here is your ABS sensor. Take your new one and plug it in. Make sure that when you plug it in, it actually clicks just like that. And then take this gray retainer and snap it in right here, just like that. Now we can actually put this fender liner back in place and secure it. Up top here, there was a plastic screw. Make that snug. Don't over tighten it though. You don't want to strip out the plastic. And then further down, we had the uh, 10 millimeter headed bolt. Snug that up as well. Next is this bracket, has a hook on the bottom. It has to line up with the small opening. And then once you do that, automatically the bolt hole will line up. Snug it up. Now let's attach everything onto the strut. This ABS bracket has a couple hooks that need to line up. Hook the top in first and then slide it down into position. Meanwhile, you wanna bring the brake hose over and then clamp both of them down with this bolt. Start it on. I recommend putting some grease or anti seize on those threads. They often seize up. 
make it snug. And then clip this clip into the strut just to resecure it. There we go. And now put the ABS sensor into the knuckle. If you have to clean up the surface for any reason, do that so that it can sit properly in here. And I recommend putting a little bit of grease on it, and not, on the, not on the end of it, just on the base, just so it doesn't seize up in the future. When you thread this bolt in, if you had to, for some reason, press it in um, or wiggle it because it's a snug fit, try not to drive it down in with a bolt because this will put pressure on the end of this tab here on the ear and it can break. At this point, Grab your 10 millimeter socket, snug it up. Just give it about an eighth of a turn after it bottoms out. You just want it to be snug. You don't want to break this bolt in there. And at this point, let's put the wheel on. Let's get the wheel back on. Put on all five of your lug nuts, bottom them out, and then we'll torque them in a cross pattern to 76 foot pounds. Once again, 76 foot-pounds in a cross pattern. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. If you have anything to say, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you can stay up to date with all of our latest content. Thanks for watching.